Hi friends and Potterheads, we are in The Order of the Phoenix, Chapter 8, The Hearing. And in this chapter, we have Harry being presented in front of the Wizengamot. I don't know if I've got that pronounced right, but sounds close enough. I think you know what I'm talking about. And this chapter actually reminds me of when I was a teen and um, got in a little trouble and had to defend myself against my parents and adults. And it reminded me of the things that are important to remember. And this shows up exactly in this chapter. Um, the first part is our reputation, the things we've done before us, plays a role in our defense. If we have not had a good reputation, so if we have in our past lied, cheated, um, misbehaved, done things that were against the values that our parents and the adults in our community, that may be school, whatever it is, if we violated those things in the past, they're going to be brought up in the future when you're having to defend something. Even if you were in the right at the time of the thing that you're currently having to defend, your past history is going to play out. So I'm going to encourage you to try and not get in trouble in the past. I'm going to encourage you to stay on an even keel. Don't be lying and stealing, staying out past what your bedtimes or your, your, um, your curfews are, um, cheating, any of those sorts of things. Do not do because when you really need for your reputation to stand up in a court or in a defense situation with your parents, it's going to be called into question. Now, the other thing you want to look at is who are your witnesses? Are they credible? Having a credible witness is going to make all the difference in the world. Can that person see a dementor? Because if the person can't see the dementor, then you're going to have problems having that stand up in your defense. So you want to have that in place. So look at who are the people you're associating with? Are they good people? Do they have a good reputation? Because if you're hanging out with maybe less than desirable friends or questionable friends, it's going to be really hard at your defense when you get into the situation. You're also going to want to have some really good supporters who understand and are able to present the case in a logical manner where emotion is not coming into play. The facts are presented. We talked about this in the earlier chapter, but stay true to what's there and have the support that you need in order to present your case that whatever happened, you were in the right and that you did what you could in the situation. Now, we all get ourselves into trouble, and especially as teenagers, things happen, right? Sometimes it's out of our control. Sometimes it's within our control. But if you are going to be in a situation to defend yourself against other adults, other um, parents, whatever that is, make sure that you have kept your reputation clean, that you are hanging out with people that are that have a good reputation and that are going to be a good defense for you and make sure that you stick to the facts of the matter and make sure your story is true it needs to be true and aligned i'm not going to say that that's going to win your case if you're in those situations but more likely it's going to help you so this was kind of a funny chapter in that regards, but it does remind me when I was a teen and I did better when my reputation was clean um, and I could be trusted that my word was my word and that the people I associated with were reputable people to hang out with. I always did better when I was making my defense cases in those regards. So have a look at that, where are you staying true to your word and that you have a good reputation, your integrity is in place. Wish you all the best. I hope you have a great week. We'll see you here back next week. Take care.